Hello everyone. Today we are going to learn about Pythagoras theorem. Pythagoras theorem means in any right angle triangle the square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. The square of the hypotenuse is equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. In order to understand this, all we need to do is to draw a right triangle. I hope you all know what is right triangle, right? There is a figure of a right triangle, right triangle, and according to the definition, the square of the hypotenuse, hypotenuse is the side in a right triangle, in a triangle, in any kind of triangle, there are three sides. And in a right angle triangle, out of the three sides, the side that is opposite to 90 degree right angle, opposite of a right angle. It is a right angle in this triangle. This is the right angle. It this angle makes 90 degree. This angle is 90 degree, so this angle is right angle. This one is right angle, and the opposite of the opposite side of this 90 degree, the opposite side of this 90 degree, the side, this one, is the hypotenuse in a right angle triangle. So this hypotenuse has a special relation with the other two sides this side the remaining two sides are perpendicular and base perpendicular base and this one is the hypotenuse it is the opposite of the 90 degree 90 this one opposite of this 90 degree is called the hypotenuse so according to the definition this hypotenuse has a special relation with the other two sides that is the square of this hypotenuse, the square of the length of this side is always equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. The square of the hypotenuse is always equal to the sum of the squares of the other two sides. But one thing you should remember is that it's only true, this definition is only true in the case of right angle triangle right angle in all it's only true in the case of right angle triangle so the theorem says that for any right triangle the square of the hypotenuse is always equal to the sum of the squares of the two sides and the two sides are perpendicular and base here is the example this is a right angle triangle. We can say that this triangle is a right angle triangle because out of the three angles, out of the three angles, one, two, and three, one angle measured 90 degree, exactly 90 degree. So in any triangle, if one angle is 90 degree, the triangle is called right angle triangle so in here also in this triangle out of three angles one angle is 90 degrees so we can say that this triangle is a right angle triangle and it's 90 angle opposite its opposite side this side is the hypotenuse side for this triangle now the perpendicular, this is the perpendicular, let's give us B, and this is the base, and let's give us B, and this one hypotenuse H. So, in here, in this right angle triangle, the length of the perpendicular is 4 cm, and the length of the base is 3 cm. And the question is, what will be the length of the hypotenuse H? the length of the hypotenuse. We can find out the length of this hypotenuse by following 
the definition of the particular theorem. H square. The square of the hypotenuse. We make it into square. H square is equal to is equal to some means plus sum of the squares sum of the squares of the other two sides the other two sides are perpendicular and base perpendicular square plus base square so from the definition we got a square is equal to b square plus b square now h squared is equal to we have the value of p that is 4 centimeter 4 square plus again we have the value of b that is 3 3 square next h squared is equal to 4 square means 4 square means 4 multiplied by 4 that is 4 fours are 16 4 square is 16 plus again 3 square 3 square means 3 multiplied by 3 that is 9 3 square is 9 our next line h square is equal to 16 plus 9 is 25 in here we got h square is equal to 25 but what we are going to find out is only h not square not h square so this square need to move to, uh, to the other other side so we will keep h only and here is 25 when the square moves to the other two uh, move to the other side it becomes square root square becomes square root so h is equal to 25 square root is 5 because 5 multiplied by 5 is 25 so square root of 25 is 5 so h is equal to 5 that means the length of the hypotenuse of this given triangle is 5 cm. That is how to find out the length of any sides in a right angle triangle by following the Pythagoras theorem. Okay children, I am going to give you the assignment from the Pythagoras theorem. This is your assignment, this is going to be your assignment for this week. Find the length of the unknown sides from the given triangle. One, two, three. You will solve this in a paper and submit your answer to your class teacher through WhatsApp before this coming Saturday. Thank you all.